Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, um, but today's video, I just wanted to do a try-on haul because it is uh, another haul. <laughs> and I said in like my last three videos that I was gonna save money and not buy any more makeup. Um, I think I said until the VIB sale, and then that came and I didn't I think I got one thing that was on sale and the rest was my um, $100 gift card uh, VIP Rouge reward thing um, that I exchanged for products so that's what this video mostly is um, and there's some other things I have this whole box full of stuff Ugh, I have a problem so yeah, that's why I want to do like a try on haul because I don't like I've done a lot of videos where I'm just talking about the products, but I want them I want to show you them on my face. So, yeah, not that you can see very well. This lighting is horrendous. Yeah, hopefully it will get better throughout the video. I don't know. Okay. So I already have um, foundation, concealer, and my brows on. So just quickly, I used my Makeup Forever Water Blend. Um, three pumps of that. I used my regular concealer that I always use, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. And for brows, I used my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel that I always use. I didn't get any new products in those categories, which is why I did that first. So yeah. Um, I guess I'll start with the things that I got with my $100 reward because um, some of them are not makeup products, so it doesn't make sense to show them while I do my makeup. So the first thing I got is the Tarte Micellar Magic. This is a um, obviously a micellar water. It's a makeup remover and cleanser. I got this because I was using the Garnier. Um, I don't know the name of it, but the one that everyone uses. That there's like four different kinds now. I was using the one with the blue cap, um, and I used the whole thing up, and I felt like. I don't know if this is true, this is like a theory that I have, but I feel like it's it was making my eyelashes and eyebrow hairs fall out very easily. And like when I look at my eyelashes now even, they look a lot more sparse and shorter than they used to. And then I didn't really think a lot of that, but then I watched another video from Lisa Stevens, I'll link her channel below. Um, and she said the same thing. So then I was like, wait, maybe this is true. So I'm not going to repurchase that one for now, even though it does work really well and I didn't have any other issue with it. So I thought I would try this one. Obviously it's more expensive because it's Tarte. It's sold at Sephora. But, um, I guess there's better ingredients in it. I mean, who really knows? But this says, um, it's a mess-free, no-rinse micellar cleansing water, um, saturated cotton pad, and apply to skin on the go after a gym sesh or to remove that full face of makeup you work so hard on. Formulated with Babasu, this baby cleanses without stripping your skin or making a mess of your sink. So I actually did just use it before filming because I still had some mascara residue from yesterday and uh, it worked i mean it took everything off it didn't burn um yeah so i'll keep using this and let you guys know i do like the fact that it says you can use it just like as a cleanser also because some days like i don't want to wash my face like with a scrub or an actual cleanser um because i don't have makeup on but it still feels like I need to wash it then I would use something like this just on the, my Shiseido cotton pads so yeah oh and the packaging I'll show you because that's another reason why I wanted to try this one it's one of those um, 
where you press down and the product comes up and I like that because the Garni ones just like you pour it out and you could pour too much or you know it makes a mess a little so yeah I like that and then the other non makeup product I got is um, a body wash so this is by the brand I think it's pronounced consonant if you can see it's um, I think it's from Toronto actually yeah it's a Canadian brand it's an organic body wash in scent 002 it actually doesn't say what that means on here but I'm pretty sure on the Sephora website it said sage and peppermint um, that's what it smells like anyway it smells really refreshing and nice which I like when I'm having a shower I like something that's more like you know citrus and refreshing as opposed to when I'm having a bath I prefer like a more calming scent but uh, I thought this was cute because it says, wow, you're good. Five minutes in this store and you've already picked up a bottle of the most luxurious organic body wash on earth. You're examining every last detail, ensuring it contains the finest quality natural ingredients, wondering whether it's safe for all skin types and hoping you are right for such a great product. Well, it does and it is and you are. I thought that was really cute. So I guess this is like an actual store in Toronto. Because on the back it says um, Consonant Skin Care and the address is 2479 Young Street, Toronto, Ontario. Yeah, so I thought that was nice. I like that it's organic um, for something I'm going to put all over my body. So I got that. What else did I get? Oh, I got... I think I mentioned this in my VIB recommendations video. Um, I didn't buy it yet, but I recommended the Marc Jacobs, um, what are these called? Because it's not just lip gloss, it's um, Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer. This is the shade Forbidden Fruit, which I thought would be a really nice spring summer shade. Um, obviously it's not like super, it's not going to go on this exact color on the lips because it is a lip gloss, but these lip glosses are pretty opaque and they do feel like really moisturizing, um, which is why I like them a lot. And I think this and the Fenty glosses are my favorite lip gloss formulas, so if you were looking for a lip gloss, um, of course, this is a bit more expensive because it's Marc Jacobs, but I think they're worth it. And they smell really nice, too, if you like mint, obviously, because uh, that's what they smell like. But not in, like, a buxom way where they're, like, also for plumping. It's just, like, that's what they smell like. So I'm really happy I got this with my $100 gift card. Um, I actually, this is the first full size Marc Jacobs lip gloss that I have. I have two or three mini sizes, but I really like them. So, and I bought this on Samantha Ravendahl's recommendation. Um, yeah, because I pretty much like all the makeup she uses. So, she's a bad influence on me for buying things. Um, what else did I get with my gift card. As you guys probably know, $100 sounds a lot, but it doesn't really get you much at Sephora. So I got through those three, and I got this, the Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio by Kaja. Um, I got the shades, well, there's three shades, but the whole thing together is called Toasted Caramel. So it looks like this. It's a little stack of eyeshadows, but they're all um, connected. So, wow, this is what is happening to the lighting today? Um, yeah, so there's the first one. 
then there's this one and the last one this is darker obviously these are all like glittery shimmer shades so this is not like a full eye look for me but everyone has been raving about these and I just had to try it for myself even though these are quite expensive for three eyeshadows I think this is $26 Canadian so yeah I don't know but they do look really nice I, I haven't used them yet on my eyes I just swatched them so yeah I'm excited about this this is a problem when you don't film consistently because now I don't remember what I talked about but this is a fan brush that I use for highlighting. It's my new favorite brush for that purpose. Um, and this was already 50% off. So if you got it on sale, it would be like 70% off, which is really good. So because I like this one so much, I got another brush. I got this little one. Oh, I didn't say what this was, did I? Um, it's number 62, the Pro Fan Detail Brush, and then I got the number 18 Pro Shader Brush. This one was $11. I didn't get it on sale because I got it after the sale, but that's still a pretty good price for a Sephora brush. So it's a bit smaller than I would have liked, um, but I needed like another flat stiffer brush for eyeshadow because I'm finding like all the brushes I have are very fluffy um, and they don't like pack on the shadow that I sometimes want so uh, I thought this would be good and I already knew because I like the other brush like the Sephora brushes they feel like really nice quality and the bristles are very soft as well so yeah it I do wish it was a bit bigger but um, on the other side of that, you could use this for more detailed application, like in the inner corner, or if you just wanted to, um, pack on a color in the crease, um, or the outer V, it would be really good for that, so. Yeah, and these are still available, so if you need any brushes I would check these out and there's a bunch of other ones also on sale I also got before the sale the Too Faced Peach Puff Long Wearing Diffuse Matte Lip Color I got the shade Straight Fire if I had tried this before the sale I would have recommended these also because I really like this um, so I got the red shade but it goes on pretty um it's not like a true red it's like one of those like fiery corally reds which i really like right now um and these are they say matte right that's what i just said yeah diffused matte and i think that's a really good description for these because as you can see it's not like a like a lip like a liquid lipstick opacity it's kind of sheer in a way but not in a sense that it's patchy it just looks kind of like a stain and I really like that effect um, I don't like super drying liquid lipstick so but I do like the look of a matte lipstick so I really do like this and there's a bunch of colors I chose the most like vibrant one all the other ones are really more like nude um, peach and pink shades but I didn't think I needed those because I have so many so I did get this color and they smell like peaches and sweet fig cream like the other stuff in the peach line so yeah I really like these so the other things I got were just like on a whim or they were gifted to me from my mom from her boxycharm rejects <laughs> not that she doesn't like the products but she just gives me what she wouldn't tend to use so 
she gave me the it superhero cause um uh, what do you call this it cosmetics superhero elastic stretch volumizing mascara and i tried it yesterday for the first time and i really like it um it does lengthen and give volume and i found that it like it kept the lift in my eyelashes which sometimes i notice like my eyelashes fall back down throughout the day but this really kept them in place it didn't flake at all which i'm excited about because it seems like every mascara i'm trying these days is flaking or smudging on me um like the milk the milk uh, kush mascara which i was super excited about and i thought was like super cool and innovative but it's bad like <laughs> My mom will look at me and be like, um, why is there like black all under your eye? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. So this was super expensive too, I think. I'm pretty sure it was over $30, I want to say. It just, look, it just, look how much product is on there. It's just not good. I don't know, guys. Everyone seems to like this, but I do not. No, I don't. <laughs> so I'm probably going to start using this one. I'll keep that one as a backup because it's still good. Like the formula is not dried out or anything. But yeah, I'm not happy about that. Um, I also got the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shape in the shade Kiss Fire, which kind of looks a lot like the shade from Too Faced that I just showed you. But this is actually the first time I'm seeing a Dose of Colors product in real life because we don't get Dose of Colors in Canada. Um, but I heard a lot of good things about their liquid lipstick. It's a lot of people's favorite formula. So I'm really excited this came in a boxy charm. And this is like my color for sure. So I'll give you a swatch. Looks like that. It's a bit deeper than the other shade. And maybe it has like some fuchsia in it, I want to say. But I really like this color for spring and summer also. So I'll be using that. And I like the packaging of these too. I mean, I think it's the same as like other liquid lipstick brands. But nothing I have in my collection. She also gave me the Ciate <clears throat> Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. This is the shade Cupid. I saw Kathleen Lights try this on because she always does like her boxy charm try on haul um and it did like sheer out quite a bit but it looks like this at first it looks like it's gonna be intense that was bad i just swatched it over the stain i had but it's like a duochrome um I want to say it's like a purple gold, maybe more like a champagne, but um, from what she showed, when you blend it out, it gets pretty sheer, so it's more like a topper shade. Um, you could obviously use it by itself, but not if you want like a full on like opaque shimmer like the Stila Glitter and Glow. It's more like a topper, so just to let you guys know. And she also gave me the Pure Festival 12-piece pressed pigment palette. Which I knew she was going to because this is not her thing. She doesn't wear <clears throat> colorful shadows. So it looks like this. It's really nice inside too. There you go. So I'm not like super excited about the purple and pink. I feel like Pure puts those in all of their palettes and I have so many palettes with those two shades but yeah I get what they were they're trying to do like a festival vibe so obviously there needs to be some color and there is two pressed glitters as you can see I don't like these as much as the ones in the Tarte um, High Tides and Good Vibes palette these are more like silicone -y. 
so they don't like stick to the eye as well I feel but I haven't like even put them on my eye I'm just talking about the way they feel and when I swatch them I don't know how I'm going to apply those really because you really need to like swipe it on or else it won't stick to your eye so we'll see about that but I'm probably going to use this today um, and it came with a sample of the Pure Get a Grip and Jern's eyeshadow primer, which is pretty cool. It probably came with this because there's glitter shades and you basically cannot use these without a primer. So that was nice of them to include. Oh, this is exciting. This was a bit of a splurge. <laughs> um, but I had to get it. It's the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. That's the packaging. It looks like this. And inside, it looks like that. I wasn't going to get this at all, but then everyone's like VIB sale videos got to me. Everyone was saying how much they liked it. And I was swatching it in store for like weeks and every time I was like, oh, I wish I could have that. So I finally just got it because knowing me, I'll just obsess about it and wish that I could have it. So yeah, this is like a shopping issue of mine, I guess. <laughs> but in this palette, you get two cream shades, which are covered by this plastic um, lid which is nice so you don't get the powder products in the creams so the top two this one says glow honestly I'm not sure how to use this palette but when I have used it I've really liked it but I don't think I'm using it in the way it's meant to because this cream shade here glow you're seeing everything um, it says glow cream base. What does that mean? Do I put it on before blush? I don't know. And the other one, the darker one, which looks scary, but it's not. It says cream blush. So I'll show you guys. Like, it, that's the cream base. It's very... Um, I don't know, not as shimmery as I thought it'd be. And then this color, which I love, it looks crazy, right? And you're like, who's going to put that on as a blush? But when you sheer it out on the skin, it just gives this really nice, like, bitten kind of look with like a nice glow to it this lighting is terrible but i think you get the idea how like it doesn't go on the skin that color um and if you use it with a sponge it looks really nice so i've used that already and i really liked it and then this shade says glow extreme i used that yesterday and it is very glittery so if you don't like glittery highlighters you might not like that um, and it's a maybe a bit dark for me, but the texture is so nice. If you can see here, see how there's like some glitter in it. But I like the color for like a spring look. And the whole point of this palette is like for spring. It's called the Bloom Palette. It came out with their spring collection, so it's meant to be like blushy and glowy um and then this one says duo glow looks like this it's like a very peach coral vibe and that one is extreme like that is pigmented so uh, i did use this as a blush and I don't know how I felt about it as a blush. I think I put too much on maybe because it is like a very creamy texture. So when you put it on as a blush, it kind of like, 
it kind of like sticks down where you put it so you have to blend it out um, either with like a duo fiber brush would be easy or a sponge um, which is what I usually do when I use this palette I usually go over everything after with a damp sponge just to like blend it all together but it does give a really nice look so I'm happy I got this but I do think I need to like practice more with the different formulas and maybe read like the actual press like explanation of how you're supposed to use it because I'm not sure and this is the first Natasha Denona product I've ever gotten so yeah I'm kind of excited about that so that dose of colors liquid lipstick um, did like stain my hand and this is even like rubbing super hard with the um, the I use the Kirkland um, wipes these are so good I don't know why no one talks about them because you get like a thousand of them <laughs> in a one case and they have like a lot of product on them so they actually do remove makeup but yeah that's like pretty stained on there which I don't mind when my liquid lipsticks leave a stain because it means when they wear down they don't like get all weird and crusty and you can still see the color underneath which makes them not look as bad as they're wearing off so yeah just a side note on that this I got a long time ago but I never mentioned it on my channel because it didn't like fit in any of my videos um, but I got the Physicians Formula Butter Collection with Casey Holmes collab um, I got this for like a really good price I think it was over I think it was 50% off and you get all of these products I bought this because I wanted to try the new products in the butter collection line which are the eyeshadows I haven't tried the highlighter I do have one of the blushes but it's like a really uh, light shade it doesn't really even show up as a blush it's more like a highlighter so I was interested in trying out this shade here which is obviously more pigmented um, and I wanted to try the butter lipsticks um, and there is like a little um, fragrance here which is the butter paradise eau de toilette I'm not sure if I like it because it's a bit too too coconutty which is weird for me to say because I love coconut scents but it's a bit like fake coconut smell so I don't know I only tried it once but uh, I will try it again to see how I feel but yeah I thought this was a lot better deal than like buying a palette buying a blush buying a highlighter because physicians formula is like a pricier brand at the drugstore so yeah I thought this was fun to try but um, I might save this for like a whole physician's formula video because um, as you guys might know the BB cream the organic wear BB cream this is like one of my favorite base products so I was thinking of doing a whole physician's formula video just to test out everything and you know like I use the bronzer um, yeah, so I think I'm not going to use this today, but um, this is still available and it's on sale currently on the website if you want to check it out. Oh, another gift from my mom, which is this, the Belief Body Bomba. I didn't even remember that Belief made body products. I always just um, associate them with the moisturizing cream that I use, but this is a body lotion. This scent is ylang ylang and it's for dry skin with an intensive moisturizing effect. So this is going to be really nice for spring and summer because it's like a gel texture. I'll show you. Like this here. So if you can see like... I'm sure you know what I mean like it's not like a thick body butter which I don't love putting on 
anyway um, especially not in like warmer weather so I think I'm gonna really like this for spring and summer um, I've only used it like on my arms so far and it did feel really nice the scent is not something I normally go for it's kind of like florally but it's not too strong so yeah I really like this so far and then the last thing I got is the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist so I actually was trying to get this at the VIB sale but it was out of stock and not available in store but the other day I was at Sephora and they had this in stock finally so I got to test it in real life and when I smelled it I was like oh I have to get that so this is what the bottle looks like it has like a kind of duo phase formula so you're supposed to shake it up before you put it on and I think I'm gonna put some on right now because it just feels so nice yeah, I love it because it smells like actual watermelon but not in like a sickenly sicken what's that word sickenly sickingly sweet way <laughs> Um, but in like a really nice natural way and I was reading the like explanation of this and this actually seems like a really good like high quality skincare product like it's not just like a mist that smells like watermelon it actually has good ingredients in it so it says um, it's 84% watermelon high yeah and then Hyaluronic acid and hibiscus refreshes and softens skin and enhances makeup for the ultimate skin radiance 24-7 Moringa seed rice germ and apple cider vinegar detoxify skin and help protect against everyday contaminants um, And you can use this product in two different ways which I also thought was really interesting so you can use it as a hydrating glow mist um so from eight to ten inches away firmly press nozzle and mist two to three times across face hold closer to face for maximum dewy effect use throughout the day and then you can use it as a makeup prep and perfecting mist um, from eight to ten inches away firmly press nozzle and mist two to three times to refresh skin and set makeup Vegan, cruelty-free, free of alcohol, synthetic dyes, silicones, parabens, mineral oil, sulfates, and phthalates. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I actually did use it as a setting spray yesterday and my makeup lasted the whole day. So I don't know if that was really this product because I was testing a new foundation. Well, it's not new. It's the... NARS sheer glow foundation and I was pretty surprised that like a sheer glow foundation would stay on that long So I think it was because of this product, but I don't know But I think you can already see like that. It did give me a glow, right? I really like that. So I would recommend that if you're looking for a You can use it as a toner probably or a setting spray. I obviously didn't need any more setting sprays, but I couldn't resist so I think for today this has already been the longest video ever and I didn't try anything on <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna do a really natural look I'm actually not gonna use the festival palette because I feel like the only way to go with that is like a glam look and I don't feel like doing that today so I'm just gonna use the beauty bento box and if you guys really want to see the festival palette I can do a video just on that I was actually thinking of doing a festival video I know like in America festivals started already like three months ago it seems but um, where I live there hasn't been any festivals yet so it's still relevant to me to do a video um, on that so let me know. I think I'm going to use the middle shade in the Beauty Bento box, which is called Sunny Amber. 
and it does say you're supposed to apply these with the finger so we'll try that but my nails are pretty long right now so I won't be able to get like detail with it but let's just see what happens so it looks like this wow Okay, that's really nice. Yeah, it's kind of going everywhere because my nails don't allow me to get precise. That went like fully under my eye. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys even see what I'm doing? This is why like, to be honest, I'm not super excited to film videos because I don't know how to get a good quality um, lighting with the setup of my room right now this is like the only position I can be in to film but the um, windows are behind me so that's not helpful but I can't face that way because then I'm in the middle of the room and there's two huge like wall length mirrors behind me so that doesn't make sense but yeah um i really like how this looks already i'm just gonna use like a good little brush to get more detailed i'm actually gonna use the brush i just mentioned before because i do want like more precision precision But I actually don't mind like when I have a glitter shade going like above the crease. I think that looks kind of cool because then you can see it like even when your eyes are open you can still see some of the glitter. Um, obviously I can make it even more opaque but I just like how that looks now. And I'm going to put some of the lighter shade which is called gold dust um, I'm gonna put that on the inner corner it still goes on pretty well with the brush if you can tell see like it's just when you put it with your finger it helps the glitter not to go and like fall all over your face which is I guess why they recommend using the finger because most people don't want glitter other than on their eyes that looks really nice it's a really fun like especially in the summer like this with um a red or orange lip which i think i'll just do today it's gonna look pretty cool um yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna put any under my whole eye because that'll just be glitter everywhere. But I like how that looks so far. And there is like, I think four, four different colors of these. And I'm kind of interested to check out other ones now. But yeah, that was nice so far. So I guess I'll demonstrate the non the Natasha Denona palette even though I just said I don't know if I'm using it right <laughs> let's just see what happens I'm gonna try using the glow cream base today I think I'll use my sponge and see what happens I feel like it's not picking it up with the sponge oh yeah it is Oh, yeah, that looks kind of nice so far. I do have glitter like fallout from that eyeshadow, so if that's something that bothers you, just note that is a thing that will happen. And then on top, which I think this is what you should do, use this as a cream base so that the blush sticks to it, I guess. But I don't want to go over a cream with like a super dense 
brush. So let's see what I have. I'm pretty sure I have a little dual fiber brush somewhere. Yes. I have this e.l.f. small stipple brush, which could work. I'm going to go in with this shade, the Duo Glow. Yeah, see, like, that is, it's almost like it performs like an eyeshadow, which is, I, I think why I'm a bit scared of it, <laughs> but it blends out nicely, if you can tell. But when you first put it on, it's like very pigmented. I really like how it looks though. Which is, yeah, usually what happens when I use this. I'm scared at first, but then it looks pretty good after. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use the Glow Extreme again just to show you guys what it does. I'll use the fan brush. It is nice though, right? So this highlight, I feel like it doesn't look as crazy as you think it would, but in certain lighting, when it catches the light, it's very reflective. So if you're someone that likes a really blinding highlight, I don't know if you'll like this, even though you would think like this kind of product would give you a blinding highlight, I feel like it's not that crazy. Like it's not like a, um, what are those highlights? The Ofra ones that are super like, whoosh, like metallic. It's not like that. It's more reflective. But I really like how it looks and I like the shades of it as well. So that was the Natasha Denona Bloom palette. And for lips, oh, maybe I should put mascara on. Um, I'm gonna use the one I talked about, the Superhero Mascara. I'll show you like one eye how it goes. So there's like with a few coats, as you can see, it's uh, pretty good at separating, um, but it still gives a lot of volume because I find like mascaras that I have that give a lot of length, um, they don't give like any volume at all. So then it looks like I have like five super long <laughs> lashes, but this one is a good balance of both lengthening and volumizing. Let's put some on the lower lash line. There's with one um, one side done and one without. So for lips, I'm going to use the Joseph Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick that I just talked about. So it has one of those like um, doe foots that has like a dip in it, which is supposed to help like shape on the lips. Ooh, that's a nice color. There's the liquid lipstick. Not the best application. <laughs> Normally I put a lip liner on if I was gonna wear dark color like this, but my lip liners are like across the room. So 
I'm too lazy to go get it. It looks very red on camera, but it looks more bright um, in person. I really like that so far. We'll see how it dries down. But it's not like doing anything weird for now, which is good. Some liquid lipsticks, when you do this, it's like, it feels like you're peeling your lips apart, but this is not doing that. So yeah, I really like that color. Very nice. Well, um, should I put more watermelon spray? Yes, I think so. Um, and it did say on the package, like, something about a fog. Yeah, it envelops skin like a dreamy morning fog, which I think is a good explanation because it's not like a very wet spray. It's more like you spray it and you don't feel anything, but then the mist, like, hits your face. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, I pretty much liked everything I tried today. I mean, I don't think anything other than the lipstick was a, well, and the eyeshadow. Those are the only first impressions. So far, I really like how both of those look. Um, I love this mascara. I am really liking the sheer, like, glow. My camera just cut me off. I was just saying that... <laughs> I really like more like sheer glowy products for warmer weather so I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Um, like I said, I'm just going to try it some different ways and actually read up on how it's meant to be used to see if I'm doing it right. But I mean, I think you can tell even in this horrible lighting that it looks uh, really nice if you like that kind of glowy, dewy look of course. Uh, maybe if you have oily skin, you wouldn't like to look like this Because it is looking pretty dewy <laughs> But yeah, um, this video was a lot longer than I wanted it to be But I hope you guys liked it anyway um, I do have a lot uh, a lot more videos I want to film I think I'm going to film another video today, my shop, my stash Because I definitely have to get in some spring products into my everyday makeup drawer because I'm still using like the things I used in the winter and it's not very inspiring so yeah and there's so many products that I need to get more use out of because they're just sitting in my collection so I think I'll do that today and I also have an empties video coming because my empties bag is full um if you don't know what that is it's um when weirdos like me keep their <laughs> empty products and then talk about them uh, on YouTube. So yeah, if that sounds interesting, you can stay tuned for that. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. Um, and I, if you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!